Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and I'm going to take this Mega Pidgeot team on OU and see what happens with it. Still got that suspect test going off. Uh, Doug Drill can't learn Body Slam because it's incompatible with another move. Alright, so we can't have Body Slam on Doug Trio. So I guess that means we could put on that other move I was going to put on, which was reversal. Reversal. Happy now. Attempt number two. Hey, we got a game. So let's see what we let's see what we got here. Oh, so Mew is in OU. Okay, so that's good to know. So I might actually. Oh, but this team here looks scary. This here looks like a VGC team. Not even going to lie. With the exception of Mew, of course, this looks like a VGC team. All right. Who's my lead? I think Skarmory is my lead. Uh, actually, I think I have to lead with Galvantula as well. Yeah, let's do that. Because we can set up Sticky Rocks. Uh, Sticky Rocks aren't going to work on Landorus, of course. So, sticky rocks, sticky web. I honestly don't think I need Galvantula, so. We'll find out here if the Landorus is scarfed, because Galvantula naturally outspeeds it. So it is scarfed. That's good to know. So, Cafable. We're going to do that. We're going to Volt Switch out here into did a lot of damage. I kind of just want to go into Smurgle. See what happens. Flamethrower. Alright. Cafable here is about to go to sleep. Gonna get a sail smash off. Now the thing is, is I don't know if I am faster still. Mm. Calculator. My speed is roughly 546, I want to say. Landorus is. Oh, well, break out the calculator. I want to be sure, because I'm, I'm going to uh, bat and pass here. Calculator. No timer. Turn the timer off. I actually knew he was going to go right back into this thing, too. So let me see. Uh, it's 2.0, so 546 and 309 times 1.5. So I'm faster. I should be faster with the Shell Smash. But who do I go into? Um, I'm thinking of just going out into Skarmory. I'm a, I'm a click bat and pass. Let's see where it goes. Okay, so I am faster. I can go out into Pidgeot right now. And hope whatever he does doesn't kill me. Okay, but he's got he's got that sizzler though. 
and it does have bullet punch, so I think we should probably play it safe. You know what? I'm gonna go out in the skarmory. I think skarmory is safe. I've got the leftovers, so I can take one hit. Here, we're just going to put the rocks up. I'm faster than Rotom. That did a lot of damage. All right. We're faster than Rotom. That discharge would have killed me. So the Rotom is scarfed more than likely, or um, it's spexed. So I can switch out into Dugtrio and Trap it. Actually, Arena Trap doesn't work on Pokemon that levitate. So... Huh. I mean, Chansey doesn't mind coming in. Skarmory is still good. Oh, I forgot. I got the bat and pass, too. That also explains why I'm faster. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm paralyzed with Chansey. That doesn't really matter. I'm going to throw off some Icy Winds here. Because Landris doesn't like it. Latias doesn't like it either. I'm paralyzed. That sucks. That was really a chance to get something going. So, defog the hazards away. I think I could just keep using it. Like, it's unfortunate. A lot of his things fly. Yeah, this, this here is going to... What am I doing? Stealth Rocks. I don't think Skarmory can switch back in. So I'll set my rocks up. Might as well do it, right? See what happens. Okay, so I can get a free switch now. What does Duck Trio do to Mew? It doesn't do anything to Mew. Galvantula can take one hit. Yeah. Galvantula can come in. We just bug buzz because why not? I'm going to die. That's all right though, because we're we're gonna we're gonna still attempt this Pidgeot sweep. After all, this this is what this team is for. So hopefully, it stays asleep. It woke up, so I'm gonna get with a something I'm not gonna like. 
And man, I already lost half my team and I didn't kill any of his Pokemon. You know, I'm just gonna go into Pidgey Yard here and just get ready to we're just gonna get rid of this Cafable. So Pidgey Yard sweep is hard. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of that Cafable. So yeah, I got one Pokemon down. My speed is 277. Gotta hope the sticky webs come through for me. We um of course go into Chansey. Because why not? There's a discharge. I'm gonna soft boil. I mean, if he defogs, he defogs his rocks too, so I'm fine with that. Rocky Helmet. Yep. Again, set up the rocks. Let's see if we can do something to this Mew. I don't think I want to deal with that burn. <laughs> I'd much rather have the burn on Chansey. Um, soft boil. I mean, I don't think there's anything else we can do in this game. Because I, I lost all of my Pokemon that were supposed to help Pidgeot set up. That was just a bad game. Everything walled everything. And he had way too many flying Pokemon. So here the only Pokemon I have to worry about is the Zapdos. So... I think we start Chansey. Because everything here doesn't mind Chansey. I mean, nothing here wants to be put to sleep either. So I'm going to start with Smurgle. Does this thing learn Fake Out? I'm pretty sure it does. Let's see if I can live. It learns U Turn. That did a lot of damage. So Gliss score, going to sleep. Shell smash. So I think the problem is that I'm having here is the fact that I'm not um is is, is that I'm not really going for my setup, I'm a bad and pass. Cause, I mean, I, I don't have any other opportunities to do this. If he mock punches, then, yeah, I can't do anything about that, so. A 
another thing I can do, the Infernate is stuck now. So we're just going to Earthquake. Jesus Christ, that did a lot of damage. Oh, that's alright. I can't sweep with Mega Pidgeot like I want it, but... I still have... Oh, I don't have anything to deal with that Gliscor. I, I mean... The only thing I need to be faster than... Is that Starmie. The Zapdos will outspeed my Mega Pidgeot, which is unfortunate. But I have the Chansey with Icy Wind, so maybe we can get something with that. I also got the Electro Web, so I can reduce its speed to make the attempt to hit it at least once. But I don't have a good stab against Zapdos, though. So um, I'm going to go into Chansey. I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks. So... That was good, because I had a feeling we was going to go right into Zapdos. So, I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks. Just so I can break Starmie's Focus Sash, if it has it. This here is, of course, assuming the Zapdos doesn't have Defog. Wait and see what the opponent here does. Switching out right into Gliscor, so I'm going to get my rocks up. And I'm going to see how much my Icy Wind does. Twenty-seven percent. And with Seismic Toss, I get what thirty-three. I'm going to do I'm going to click Icy Wind again. Okay, he flung his Toxic Orb at me, so that means I don't have to worry about anything. Because I switch out, I heal, which is fine by me. I should probably make that switch now, expecting my opponent to switch. Opponent's not going to want to go into Zapdos. Opponent could go into Starmie. I'm a Seismic Toss. So I'm getting 28% with that. Okay, so I have to switch. Um, I can shuffle his team. That seems like it'll be fun. I can also go out and make a Pidgeot, but I think I'm going to go into Skarmory. What do you do now? Roar? Let's do Roar. If he switches out, I'm going to deal 25% or 12% to something else. Hopefully I get 25 on that Zapdos. So there's 24 on the Zapdos. Zapdos is getting roared out. Gliscor coming back in for 13. Doesn't have his Toxic Kill. And I'm just going to keep clicking Roar since I have no reason to do anything else. So he's going that again. I'm sending something else back in. Gliscor coming back in for another 12%. I'm going to click Roar because Gliscor has got nothing he wants to do to me. Well, he can roost. I'm fine with that. Sylveon coming in. Uh, Sylveon's not going to want to stay in, but I don't have Stab against Sylveon. So I'm going to click Roar again. I did a lot of damage. But Sylveon isn't, ex or Starmie, Skarmory isn't exactly the bulkiest thing around. I'm going to go out in the Chansey. I'm going to get a, um, I don't want to eat a Thunderbolt here. I'm just going to rapid spin the rocks. That's fine. Um, rocks are going back up, so. Let's score coming back in. Rocks go back up. 
think I'm going to click keep I'm going to keep clicking icy wind against it. Zapdos is going to get hit with an icy wind. No, it's not going to get hit with an icy wind. So rocks are going to get defogged away again. Eat that minus speed. Rocks are going back up. I mean, I can use a 32 times. So. Zapdos is going to roost. I'm going to get my rocks back up. Because eventually it's going to get to a point where I'm faster than the Zapdos. I'm going to click Icy Wind again. I wish I was that lucky to get status on everything. I'm going to take a heal, then I'm going to switch out into um, Galvantula. Man, everything is really bulky right now. You know what? I forgot Stone Edge was a thing. I should have put that on it. I don't want to go into Skarmory because I'll die horribly. Um... I just keep clicking seismic toss. Stealth rock. Okay, apparently opponent left. We're just going to turn the timer on. Uh, but yeah, I have to say, man, dang, these, it's hard to set up a sweep with the Pokemon. Like, you have to do it the right way. You can't go into the battle thinking you're going to get your sweep off. You have to set it up. But all of these Pokemon here are so hard to set up on. Like, if I had a really good Trapper that had access to those moves, then it'd be good. Because I could put something to sleep. I think what, what it has to be is I have to put Mean Look on Smurgle. I have to find an opportunity to trap a Pokemon in. And then set up on it. I, I, think, that's what, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Oh well, find another game, see what happens. We're 23 minutes. Ooh, that talent flame is going to be a problem. Um, let me see. Possible starts: Paldon. I could start with Smurgle if I need to. I can switch into Skarmory. We're going to do that. If he starts the Paladon, I'm going to lock it in. But mean look, then I'm going to put it to sleep. Well, I think it's too late right now. So it's stuck. Ooh. Ooh, I'm about to set up all over this thing. Um, Spore. You think I can get two shell smashes? See, but it's scary though because of that talent flame. Like if that talent flame wasn't here, oh my god. 
you know I'm, I'm not even gonna get greedy I'm not, I'm not even gonna get greedy actually so should, should we do it should we go for plus four Well, I mean, because I already know the talent flame's going to come in. I already know it. So why do I? Even, so why do I even want to do it to myself? Screw it. Bat and pass right now. Man, if that talent flame wasn't there, I would have went for the plus four. But I mean, I'm only doing this just because of not really having any other option. When the talent flame comes in, I'm going to have to switch out. What? What? Why would he? Why would? Oh my! Why would he switch a Talon Flame in on a plus two Mega Pidgeot? Why would he do that? Oh my goodness! Why would he do that? There was no reason to do that. You know, I'm about to calc this omen, this ominous wind right now. You know what? It's not giving me the option for Ominous Wind. So Ominous Wind is what? 60 base power? 60 base power Ghost against Reuniclus? Reuniclus? However you want to say it. And the thing is, as you should know about um, Reuniclus, is it's not as bulky as you think it is. I'm pretty sure this is a calm mindset, but I just want to see what kind of damage we're looking at here. Reuniclus is psychic. I should put plus two. Damn, turn the timer off, dude, bro. He's salty right now. I think that's what that is. Special. I'm just curious to see what that's going to be. Well, let's say my Hurricane is a one-hit knockout, so I mean I have no reason to go for anything else. So I'm just going to click Hurricane and get the 100% on it. So the threat to my Mega Pidgeot is down. It was Talonflame. Talonflame was the threat. They say my ominous win would do at least 83%, and my opponent quits the game, and I win. Man, why did my opponent switch the Talon Flame in on a plus two special attack Mega Pidgeot? Even if it wasn't plus two, why would you still switch it in on a physical Pidgeot doing a Brave Bird with plus two attack? That was that was sad. Look for another battle. Pidgeot sweeps warm my heart. So we got another mega Pidgeot here. So I need something I can set up on. If I set up Mega Pidgeot, then I win. But the Slurpup is a threat because if he gets off the Unburden with a Belly Drum, then he's going to outspeed everything I got. So... I'm thinking I lead Smurgle.
I'm thinking I lead Smurgle. I mean, I just want to get my rocks up. Because if he sets up, he wins. If I set up, I win. Two seventy three against. You know what? We're gonna leave Smurgle. Hopefully, I can slurp off. All right. I'm going to sport. I'm gonna try to plus four on it though. Cause if I do that, I win. Man, this might be a mistake right here. Three turn sleep. Baton pass. If you can get a three turn sleep, then. It woke up. I think it's over. It's over. I'm a, I'm a plus four mega Pidgeot. With with Hurricane Heat Wave. Um. Ominous win. I'm going to calc this ominous win against the Slowbro. The Slowbro is probably just a bulky Slowbro. Um, it's not, it's, I don't think it's a Mega. Oh, you physical wall. Let's, let's check this one. Oh man, this same ominous win is going to do 131% at least. And we can still plus one on everything if we get if we get good. Or I can just straight up do 179%. I think this is a case where we just don't get greedy. It's saying it would have done 131%, but there's only a 10% chance I would kill it. And if it has any bulk... Oh yeah, this Gudra is about to die. I think if any Pokemon on his team will take a hit, it'll be the Gudra. But you know, I got the damage calculator open, so let's see what we got. Oh, oh, you assault vest. That might be a big deal. Oh, what the assault vest is saying? I'm getting seventy-four percent. Without the assault vest, I'm getting 112%. Let's hope it doesn't have the assault vest, or we can get some hacks with the confusion. It's assault vest. There's the confuse. Give me confuse. No. You know what? That was that was good. I guess. I can still set up a shell smash sweep sweep with um Galvantula. <laughs> Should I try it? Let's try it. Mean look. Let's lock it in here so he can't run when I put him to sleep.
baton pass. Oh, Sap Sipper, I forgot. I forgot about Sap Sipper. Oh, man, okay, okay. I think we just gonna get rid of it now. I forgot about the Sap Sipper. Man, Assault Vest Gudra. Why did it have to have Assault Vest? Why couldn't it hit itself in confusion? This here would have been a prime Pidgeot sweep right here. And the thing is, I can get swept by this Mega Pidgeot. Actually, I got the Chansey. You know what? I do think I want to get my Stealth Rocks up. Wants to know my Smurgle sets or mean look baton pass shell smash. To set up Shell Smash. Um, there's no way I'm leaving a Doug Trio in against a Mega Pidgeot. So Volcaron is going to come in. I'm obviously am going to switch into Doug Trio. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh well, it's done. So Quiver Dance. HP fighting. I think it's ground. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything against this Volcarona anymore. It's too set up. I think we try to control that speed a little bit.
He, he, he just wants to know what's going on with my Pidgeot. Just want to keep that speed low. Yeah, sorry, I'm not um, talking too much over this. But yeah, it, it, it looks like um, Pidgeot sweeps are hard to hard to do. I mean, what's probably is going to end up happening is I'm going to have to get Skarmory in somehow, and roar this thing away I'm gonna have to call on one of the um on one of the quiver dances I think he's gonna quiver dance again so I'm gonna go into Skarmory and make the attempt to roar this thing away yep there it goes Roar! Get out of here, Volcarona. We don't like you. So, I'm going to go down to one, but that's alright. I've got this stuff, and we're just going to get rid of that thing, because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, let me see. He has nothing else on his team that can... Okay, so I get a roost off. I'm fine with that. Shall I roost again? We should roost again. There's the Mega Pidgeot. Um, Chancy. And that saw this Guja ruined my life. So we're obviously going to eat that heat wave. And I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks again. Hurricane. Hey, there goes the confusion. So that's all right. I get my rocks. That's what I want. I was gonna say I could switch into Galvantula, but then I thought about it. It's like, oh yeah, he's a he's a spider. And spiders don't really like bugs. Um, he's obviously gonna spin the rocks, so I'm just gonna put him back up. Magic bounce Cresselia. Magic Bounce Cresselia is always fun, right? Almost any ability tier. Lame. Um, yeah, I'm just not very lucky when it comes to playing Pokemon. But you guys already know that. So hopefully, hopefully we can shuffle out the Volcarona. That would be nice. I don't eat that due to my poor typing. But we are going to roar. It will be really nice to have an Electro Web out. 302. So this thing is 
really fast. I'm a roost. I want to have as much pos. I want to have as much HP as possible against the Volcarona as I can. Jesus Christ. That's what, three flinches in a row? And a crit. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already know how I feel about that. So I'm at 100. I'm going to roar this thing out. I mean, the slim chance to win is if I can get something, and that's not the something I wanted to see. So I have to lose my Pidgey. I have to lose my Skarmory here. I was really hoping I got the Volcarona. That would have been much better. Um... Just roar and hope he does hurricane. I mean, there's no reason not to go for heat wave, right? Oh, I live. Why is it so hard to bring the vocal runner out? Please give me the miss on this rock slide. Yes. That doesn't make up all the flinches and everything, but it's a start. There's Mega Pidgeot again. I'll take the heat wave. Give me vocal rona, please. There we go. That's what I want to see. And I'm basically going to make him attack me. But the thing is, though, he's still got that Pidgeot, and it's faster than my um than my little spider here. So that's unfortunate. In the off chance he does quiver dance, roar. Though there's no reason to do it. I would I would think there's no reason to do it. But I do get the spider. I get my spider. Um Sticky Web doesn't do anything to Pidgeot. This thing four times resists Bug Buzz. My best move against it is Volt Switch. Chansey cannot switch into the Stealth Rock, so it's going to die. It's going to die, actually, coming up. Oh, wait, no. My opponent doesn't have Stealth Rock, though. Alright, so Volt Switch, I guess. Yeah, go we'll vote switch. That's the best move I got against it. It didn't knock it out. It didn't knock it out. How bulky is this thing? But that's all right though, because I've got vote switching Galvantula. We'll see how well that that does. I mean, there's no way this thing can take on the Excadrill, so. We'll vote switch and knock it out.
Pocorona is down. But it's all right, though, because I lose to the Mega Pidgeot and the Excadrill. This thing is half ground, so Bug Buzz is all I got. GG's opponents. Oh, it's Choice Scarfed. Man. So, that's going to be the last game I'm going to do with this team. Just to see if I can get it to work. I mean, there are too many variables to count. You have to um, hope your opponent doesn't, like, have a team that can wall whatever you're trying to go into. And that's a problem with bat and pass teams is that teams are just so standard to where they can normally deal with things like that but that's going to be it for this video then I'm going to switch over to another team and play some more showdown so I'm going to do that on another video but I just wanted to do this one to show this team off so if you guys like this video subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon related stuff leave comments below about how I can fix this team if there are any better choices that I can make and be sure to like the video and as always thank you guys for watching my videos and I hope I see you in the next one